So in this case, uh, uh, I think I see him some issues, some changes with this. So ladies and gentlemen, first thing we do is set this equal to 0. So now we have x cubed minus 7x squared minus 18x. I think I'm seeing some students, what they're doing is um, uh, doing what we previously did. So that's why we want to go over this problem. So now, the next step was always factor out a GCF, anything they have in common. Remember, factoring out is kind of like the same thing as dividing out, right? So you're basically dividing each one of these terms by x when you factor out an x, because they all share an x, x to the first power. Does everybody follow me with what I did there? That's squared. Does everybody follow me? Now, can I further factor this? Right, we already did that problem, right? So we should all know the factored form. OK, so now, if you guys notice, now we have a product of, it's not just a product of two factors. Now we have a product of three factors. OK, so three factors. So the zero product property still applies. But now we have three factors. So therefore, we have to set all of them equal to 0. And then go ahead and solve. So my solution set is going to be 0. 9 and negative 2 when I solve for 0. Okay? You can't divide out the x because x is a, it's a variable. It's a value. We're looking for the value. Remember what we're doing? We're looking for the values. And let's think about this. What are the solutions? The solutions of the polynomial are the values that make, y, that make this f of x equal to 0. Correct? Just listen. That's, the solu that's what we're looking for, the solutions that make this 0. Does the number 0, when we plug 0 in for x, does that make that 0? When you plug 0 in for x here, does it make the right side equal to 0? Yes. So therefore, 0 is a solution. Okay. I know it's a little bit different when you guys had like a, if you guys had something like this, 3 times x minus 9 times x plus 2. 3 is just a number, right? It's just a multiplier. It's not actually a 0. So yes, I just told you guys to divide that out. However, now we're dealing with x is a, is a variable. So you can't just divide out the x and just not worry about it. Because x is a solution. When x equals 0, that is a solution to this polynomial. All right? Was that your question, or you have a question on that? No, that was it. OK. So I totally get it exactly.